Hello and welcome back to another video from Gerber Campervans. Now, Volkswagen have invited myself, Alan and Simon down to have a private look at the ID Buzz, the new T7 multivan and also the Transporter Sportline. It's a really exciting day. We're going all the way through this ID Buzz behind us, getting a good look inside it. We really want to answer the question, can this ID Buzz become the new campervan from Gerber and will it become the new Volkswagen California? So let's jump in and have a little bit of a look around. We're gonna do a little bit of a whistle stop tour here just because we've not got an awful lot of time. We've got about five minutes left, but we've taken loads of videos. So we'll jump back into the workshop later and go through the finer details. But just to give you a quick look, you can see straight away that it's much smaller in the back and it's set up more like a passenger vehicle rather than a commercial van. But there is another version of this called the ID Buzz Cargo, which basically has all the inside stripped out and it's bare metal walls down the side. It'll be a flat floor and it will have rails on it we found out this morning. So there is the possibility to bolt the seats onto the rails. Uh, so very exciting possibilities there. We do need to consider the size of this. So that's why we're here this morning. We're taking all our measurements and we're having a look under every panel we can get under just to see if we can fit in water tanks and um, how we'll apply all of the accessories that you need in your van basically. Can we fit furniture in? Can we fit a seat in? Is the seat going to be too high? What's the height up into the wheel arches? All these things we're kind of looking at just now. And I'll be honest with you, we're unsure just now, but we've got all our measurements and we've got loads of videos, pictures. So we'll go home, do our calculations and see what we think. But the ID Buzz as a van itself looks absolutely fantastic. The styling's amazing. We all absolutely love it. It's definitely how Volkswagen are moving forwards with this sort of styling. So we're really excited about that and what's to come. But we'll have a little look in the front too, just while we're here and see what the dash is like. The first thing that I notice when I get in the ID Buzz is that the seats are so comfortable and I actually really like them and they're really sturdy. I like this new material. Now, a key feature on this is the fact that nothing in this van is made from animal products. So they are really taking a sustainability angle with it, which is really nice to see. And it really fits the type of people who are looking to go camping and get themselves into the camper van world. The actual dash itself is completely different from anything that we've ever seen from Volkswagen. So we've got this sort of floating screen here, another one here, this projects out onto the windscreen and really nice trim on the dash. Everything's trimmed in this nice color. Now this is the passenger version that I'm sitting in just now, but the ID Buzz Cargo, which if we are to build a camper van, will have a different dash. It kind of looks the same, but it's a bit more robust. It's black and it's made for the commercial world because we'll be co converting possibly the commercial vehicle. But again, the styling in here is second to none. It's revolutionary and it looks amazing. We really like it. There's loads of mood lighting in here up on top of the dash coming down. So very, very nice. So what we'll do now is we'll jump back into the Gerba workshop and we'll go through some of the finer details on this van. All right, we're back in the workshop now and we basically want to answer one really simple question. Can we recreate all of this? Can we fit this camper van layout into the ID Buzz? Now there's some important things to consider and we've got some key takeaways that we've had from our time down at Volkswagen and I'll run, them, I'll run you through them just now. Now the first one, and it's quite an important one, is that the van that we were in was the ID Buzz. It was the passenger version and it was the short wheelbase. Now Volkswagen are going to produce the cargo, which is the commercial version of what we were in, and it will be stripped bare in the back. And that's what we need for camper van conversion, which was music to our ears. We thought perfect, because that would be 400 millimeters longer than the one that we were in. And that starts to look like it's got enough space inside it to do some sort of camper van conversion. But then Volkswagen told us that they're not going to release that version into the UK. And we have no idea why they've made that decision. It's an interesting one, but there must be a reason for it. So that means we can only convert the cargo in a short wheelbase and the short wheelbase cargo is 20 centimeters shorter than the short wheelbase T6.1. So it's a very small space in sight. And we also have a shorter head height and we also have a little bit of a thinner load space in the back too. So the entire thing is a lot smaller. Now that's not to say that we can't do anything with it, but what it basically means is that everything we've created in this van, our typical layouts would have to shrink. We'd have to find a new seat manufacturer or we'd have to work with Rev to create something smaller or we'd have to try and adapt this in. But Rev seats typically sit quite high because of the wheel arch in the back of the T6.1. And because the roof's lower in the ID Buzz, is that gonna make you hit your head off the roof? Well, we don't know, but we have to explore all these options. 
And the same with the cabinetry, the cabinets would become smaller, we'd get all the appliances in, we'd have to recreate the whole thing in an ID Buzz when we got one, and then we'd have to do all the testing we do, the seats would have to be tested, we'd have to do the, the crash tests on the base vehicle, and the fact that we can only do it in a short wheelbase is very limiting. Now, the ID Buzz sits in a very unusual place in the Volkswagen lineup. Before, typically it was the Caddy, the T6.1, and the Crafter. And that makes a lot of sense, but now we've got Caddy, Transporter, we've got ID Buzz, T7 Multivan, and we've got Crafter. So it's very unusual. So we're thinking and we're hoping that at some point the T6.1 production will stop and something else will come into the Volkswagen lineup, which is bigger, which is more commercially based, which is more suitable for camper van conversion. Now we can't say that for definite because we only know as much as you guys know. It sure seems like the crowded lineup just now is really just a sort of transition period from what we have now into what we'll have next. And, if te and in terms of van size, will something bigger on a commercial platform come through? Well, we hope so. Another thing to consider with the ID Buzz is that there is no price given at the moment, so we don't know how much it's going to cost. And the T7 is very expensive as a base vehicle for camper van conversion, so it's likely that the ID Buzz will be even more so. It's also not available in the UK until next year, so we won't be making any knee jerk decisions yet. We'll get one in, we'll have a look at the possibilities, we'll see what we can build. It's a very long term process this. And Volkswagen are continuing production of the T6.1 because it's a fantastic van. It's this gives us loads of time to take this new electrical concept and to start building onto that and working with that. Volkswagen still produce the current lineup that we see today. So Gerber moving into this electrical world is very much a long-term vision and it's probably going to span over quite a few years. And that's just the way the whole industry will be, I think, because there's no one can move fast in this industry. But it is very exciting. Another consideration we have got is the range and we're not entirely sure what the entire range of ranges will be on the ID Buzz yet. And we also need to know what the loaded range will be. So when we put all the stuff in the back of an ID Buzz, how far will we be able to go? From what we've seen from electric vehicles so far, as soon as you load the back of them, the range drops immediately and by quite a large amount. So we'll need to do a lot of testing on that too. Ideally, we need to have a van on the road loaded for a year, two years. We need data to work with so we can know how these things are going to perform. Now, what about the T7? Well, the T7 Multivan is a little bit too expensive as a base vehicle for a camper van. And it's a little bit too small and it's a passenger vehicle. So we'd have to strip everything out the inside of it, which is a little bit unrealistic to do so based on what we've seen from the van. So the T7 Multivan likely won't become anything that we convert here at Gerba. But the ID Buzz, we may start over the next couple of years looking at developing a roof for it because it's probably not going to go anywhere and they'll probably keep that shell for many years to come. Uh, they'll probably change it and adapt it like the T5, the T6, T6.1. Hopefully this gives you a big overview of how we're thinking, what we took from that, where we see camper vans going in the future. If you have enjoyed this one, please make sure to like and subscribe. And we've got something else exciting for you. So there is a big crafter right there. And we're doing some work on that crafter. We're developing, we're developing our conversion on the crafter platform. So if you want to see that, please subscribe. And we'll keep you up to date with that too. That's really exciting. I am all about big vans. So yeah, I can't wait to see that too. But we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.